So you generally believe the way you place your hand on your torque wrench affects how much torque which you set. You say the hand position affects how much torque goes to your nut. Well, I'm going to prove to you that it doesn't. Other than pilot error or operator error, I'm a pilot, so I say pilot error. The hand position you put on this torque wrench makes no difference whatsoever. So uh, let me skip and start now from drawing one. And uh, it's a it's a basic um, leverage principle. Let's see how you get on with that. Okay, let's start with drawing A. Basically, I'm just going to go through the leverage principle with you, which you all seem to understand, but you all don't understand past the point of the fulcrum. But here we have a, a, a normal long bar. The bar can be as long as you want it to be. But the work arm here, as you can see, is a set distance of 5 inches. So if on the effort arm, 5 inches up, you hang a 10 pound weight. The amount of effort going to the end of that work arm is £10, which is needed to lift the £10 weight. If you move out to 10 inch, inches out of the effort arm, you now only need £5 down at the fulcrum and up at the work arm. You are now still putting out £10. No more, no less. And if you carry on like that, up that, that ramp, double that now to... Um, say 20 inches and in theory all you need is a pound half a pound weight but it would make no difference that effort arm always fills 10 feet pounds and it doesn't matter how long you work that arm you are feeling 10 feet pounds okay but the distance you have to work on the effort arm is a hell of a lot more movement so that's the basic principle that's drawing A. Let me get you drawing B and move on. Okay, so I keep up with this. I'm talking into this video. As, as it's playing on the video, I'm making the recording. And uh, I, I've got no practice words. I've got no camera in front of me. But what I'm saying already worked out. I'm just making it up as I go because this is true fact. Here you have the basic click lever uh, detent type torque wrench. You have the little orange square in the middle, which is compressed between the uh, front arm, that's the black bit on the front, it's compressed between that and the grey bit by the spring. The more you tighten your handle down, the, the more force goes on that spring, and obviously the harder it is for that to click over and allow this front bit to click to the side of the tube, the handle, and make the clicking sound. That, when you tighten it up, that basically, until that square clicks over, that is no different than a normal torque wrench. From the handle, anywhere on the handle, what the effort feels, like the drawing I just showed you, is the same at point one as what it is by holding the handle anywhere you want to hold it. Okay, now let's assume that the orange square, you can weld it to the front bit on the left and weld it to the grey bit on the right. It would never click, it would never give you a torque setting and it would be able to indefinitely put any force on you want. So basically you've now got a normal breaker bar. Okay, so that's how it works. And now let me tell you the reason they have this type of detent is because when it goes click, if you had a ball bearing type detent, it would take time releasing. But this type of detent, when it pushes the grey bit back, because you're putting so much force on it, it gets to the poundage it wants, and that little block clicks over by pushing the grey bit back up towards the spring. And that's when you get the click. After that click, at the minute you get that click, you stop pulling. At that point, that point one, 
but the poker gets whatever the torque was set on that torque wrench. If you carry on pulling, you have now got just a normal breaker bar and you can pull it and put any effort on there you want. But if you stop at the click, no matter where your arm position is on that bar, you are getting your 10 feet pounds, 50 feet pounds, whatever you set that detent for. There's no um, there's no saying the torque wrench can tell that you've got your hand halfway down or halfway up. So there you go, that's your basic torque wrench. It's what I call a detent torque wrench click mechanism. It's that simple and that easy. Okay, let's move on to the next drawing. Okay, before we move on to the next drawing, just take note of the, the writing on the bottom of this drawing. At B, it goes on about the torque that is on the video saying that is a second torque. And um, it, it, it makes a difference because you've got the torque from 1 to 2 and then from 2 up to the little yellow square. Well, you haven't because the torque on the whole bar goes from figure 1 all the way to the length of the handle and it goes straight down through the handle back to the one and that's it that's all it knows um the, the second torque when that clicks over and each one i say it becomes a torque at that point you stop pushing on at all so there is no such thing as second torque the people that are saying that are total idiots and i tell you what they really need help it is hard to believe that they Believe the shit they're pumping out. Anyway, carry on watch the video and you'll have definite proof of what this is all about. Okay, here we have drawing C, which is basically a, 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 a one of my drawings. This is I've only got paints to do it on. This is a close-up view of what happens when when the leverage you're putting on is so great it can make the square come out of being square with the two square ends it's in. It actually got to push the bit on the, the right up against the spring and that is how the setting is set and that's how it is you'll hear it when 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 it clicks you'll hear it go click and at the point on the side of the tube you'll hear that detent mechanism hit the side of the tube and that's where your click comes from it's that simple there's nothing to it at that point when it goes click there's a free second or uh, sorry a free degree angle of which there is no torque and in that three degrees a good work well will stop force and no extra force to go on to his nut regardless of where his hand is that detent takes whatever the spring says it needs to snap that detent the deep the, the handle has got no idea where the force is coming from but anyway that's the basic close-up of the detent so uh, let's move on to the next drawing well, this, this drawing now is a close-up of, I went into a manufacturer's handbook for a torque wrench to try and find if there was a point where it said and position mattered, but there was only one reference to it I come across. But this reference here, it says there, there is only a very small window of time for the user to stop applying force to the wrench once the click has been heard. To avoid adding additional torque to the assembly, a click wrench typically has around three degrees of deflection once the click has been heard. If you carry on after that click has been heard, basically you've got your everyday bar and you can put any effort you want on it at all. And it shouldn't hurt the torque wrench because I've actually, actually done it on, on, on some jobs. But uh, that is a truth factor, that's from the manufacturer's. Um, handbook there's another drawing i'll show you now from the manufacturer's handbook uh, let me find that for you anyway here's another drawing for the manufacturer's handbook I, I i read through quite a few handbooks online but this was the best one the simplest one i could find but this is a, a picture the torque wrench is in the middle and it's snapped so going to the left or the right once it's snapped like i said basically you've got a breaker bar with an unlimited amount of effort can be put on it you, you've now gone past your torque, your torque has clicked, and you've now pushed it. And it says there, you've got an error in which time to stop. If you don't, there will be operator error and over torque issues. That's the only way you will make this torque read over, regardless of where your arm position is on that bar. 
But obviously, the further out you are with your hand, the easier it is for you, and the less chance you'll make an error. The nearer the fulcrum you are, the earlier you'll have to pull, the more chance you'll make an error. So that is the only way you can make error, operator error. But the actual leverage is no effect up or down that bar whatsoever. Okay, now this last drawing before I make the video, this last drawing should be definitive for you. Without any shadow of doubt, this should say, this should tell anyone with a brain in any way that the hand position does not matter at all. This is from the manufacturer's handbook. And it says, what is torque? Loosely speaking, torque is simply the application of force some distance from on axis, from a focal point really to create a twist in action. As the ground below shows, if I double the length of the wrench, I can get the same torque at the bolt by having the force. The same torque at the bolt by having the force. The same torque at the bolt by having the force. The same torque at the bolt. Do you get that one? I'll move on to the next one. I will now make a video and I will show you this in, in theory. And the camera won't click, it won't go off shot, it'll be one take. No camera trickery, just to back all this up what I've shown you. So, anyway, video next. Well, guys, while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, let me, uh, it shouldn't take long, it's already boiled once. I made a test for it last night, went out this morning. And that's the steam this way the camera must be. I went out this morning and the first bolt I used couldn't take the poundage or set it snapped. So I put another, I tried to make a quickie rig then. I changed the um, socket and put the arm on another socket. And uh, then it kept creeping. I couldn't get it solid enough to, to do it as a test rig. So in the end I thought, I, I was out there sweating, I, got up, I left the yard early this morning, I thought I'll do this video today. I got a server early this morning, it's nice and cool, and I've been out there trying it, and in the end I thought, no, the only way, I've got before all bands here, I'll pull it on one of the wheel nuts, torque the wheel nut at the 40 pound, and then put the little lever on, and I'll show you a demonstration. So in the end guys, I have to give up, that's what I had to do. So no test rig, just actual job that you'd normally be doing on your car, on your wheel that. So, sorry I took so long making this video, but I've got a hell of a lot going on. I've got boats, gliders, planes, I've got all sorts I'm doing. And um, I want to sign off and ready to you, but take it from there, I'm very well educated, right? nothing I haven't done or nothing I don't do. So let me get onto this and I'll put the rig on the car and that's the only way we can do it, because let me get on with it. Okay guys, there's the um, pointer and the torque set for 40 feet pounds, but I'm going to have to torque it up as it is before I demonstrate anything else. But um, I don't know whether you can... Uh... Yeah, that little dot in line with it. Is that good enough? You can see the pointer, you can see my mark. Okay, I'm gonna have to torque it up now till it hits that 40 feet pounds. Well, I wonder what I do. Right, there it is there. So let me bend that now back up. It's on. That mark. Okay, that's at 40 feet pounds. Now, do it again from the same end. 40 feet pounds. 40 feet pounds. 40 feet pounds. Now I'll move into the middle. If I can get enough strength on it. 40 feet pounds. 40 feet pounds. I'll move in a little bit more. 40 feet pounds. But I, I'm getting too old for this. I'm going up to 80, so anyway, let's do it the other way, it'll go easier. Let me put a bar on there. 
a nice four-foot piece of bar and we pull from the end of the bar 40 feet pounds 40 feet pounds 40 feet pounds let's come in a bit on the bar because it won't be hard here now 40 feet pounds 40 feet pounds 40 feet pounds What's my arm position? 40 feet pounds <laughs> That is bloody hard But yes, go 40 feet pounds there you go. Look at that bloody camera was working. There we go. How was that, guys? Did you reckon that moved?